She is the name and rock and roll's the game. And I'm the only one who plays it in Liwa Harbor. Been thinking about staging concerts elsewhere lately, but... Uh, well, word is that you've been all over the place, Traveler. So, what say you sign me up for your world tour? Anywhere's good. If there's fire in your soul, you gotta rock and roll. So come on, let's get moving. I just came up with an awesome new riff. Want to hear it? Whatever's going on over there looks pretty rock and roll to me. Oh, it's really coming down. It'd be all sorts of bad if my guitar got wet. This rain ain't clearing anytime soon, but the show's still on, people. Hmm. How do we attract more folks in this weather? <gasps> right. How about we stage a rock till you drop snowstorm endurance challenge? <laughs> Gotta find some cover quick, or my hairdo's gonna fall apart. Morning. I was just warming my voice up. We're in real good shape today. All right, that's a wrap. <sighs> if there's nothing else, I'll go take a nap somewhere. Almost about to go live over here. You coming? Me? Oh, I've got a guitar to maintain. Tunes to rewrite. I mean, I just got off stage. There's no way I can sleep right now. Not afraid of me, are you? Some folks say I got eyes like knives, that I don't wear my clothes right, that I don't speak right. They give me a pretty wide berth, too. Really, can't a girl sport her own style without being looked at like she's some weird creature out of who knows where? Rock and roll came to Leo from Fontaine. So I guess you could call it a new thing. But it's not too hot around here. Most think it's an awful racket not fit for human ears. And that's why I appreciate everyone who does come listen. <laughs> you want to hear me play? Come to the front. It sounds best from there. <clears throat> All right then, coming at you from the one and only rock stage in Liyue. <laughs> and here I was wondering why we got on so well. So you're not from this world, and that's why you don't care for its rules. Now that's how life should be like. Lose the red tape and live free. I'd sure love to add some extra flavor to my rock and roll. Want to get on the drums next time? You've got a good sense of rhythm. Well, you never played. <laughs> Don't sweat it. It's a question of soul, not skill. Give it a go. I just know you'll be great. I'm guessing that I'm the only person in Tavad who uses the fire from their vision and rock performances. Some say I should respect that power more. But the way I see it, the gods gave the vision to me, so they like my style, don't you think? I made this guitar myself, you know. Based it off a rock and roll instrument from Fontaine at first, but it stopped looking like the original real fast. I wanted to give it a rad name like the Fire Liar, or the Jade Breaker, or the Hill Stewer. Oh, still feels like we're missing something. Any ideas? You ever heard of opera? It's what those rich guys listen to at their banquets. It's all tenor this and falsetto that. Getting so uptight about music. Ugh, it's just not rock and roll. My favorite stage outfit's one I made by hand out of silk flowers. You must have seen those flowers before, haven't you? Passion red they are. A perfect match for my music. I have dinner at the One Mean Restaurant often. If Xiang Ling's got some time on her hands, we'll chat till it's real late. Huh? You want to know what to order? <laughs> See, I actually eat everything she makes. It's never the same thing, and the flavor's different each time, too. Oh, she's the rock star of the culinary world, she is. There was this one fella who invited me to perform at his place back when there weren't many who would give my music the time of day. I was touched, let me tell you what. Like, hey, someone gets it. I agreed right away. But when I got there, I found out that he was the consultant at the Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. Oh, what a weird guy. I mean, how was that appropriate? Oh, you know, the Millilith used to get in my way all the time. Can't set up a stage here. Can't perform there. Oh, real bother it was. <clears throat> But, <laughs> after I wrote to the Ministry of Civil Affairs, 
I heard that the Tianchuan amended one of Liyue's, uh, some rule or something? She designated some spots for performances to take place so long as you apply. Ah, <sighs> it's still a load of trouble if you ask me. But it's better than being harangued by those Millilith every time, so... Dr. Baju's prescriptions are the tops at preserving my voice. I did an impromptu performance for him as thanks, but the snake he keeps around his neck fainted away. <laughs> oh, now it ducks up Dr. Baju's sleeve every time I'm around. I only discovered afterwards that snakes are very sensitive to vibrations. Her? She speaks her mind and has a big heart and we get on great. The Crux's adventures are real epic. They've given me tons of inspiration in the past. I even wrote them a song. Nowadays, I just need to sing the first line and most all the sailors will join in. <laughs> it's fast becoming a new sea shanty, it is. He's one interesting guy. He looks introverted enough, but there was this one time when he came to one of my performances, a friend brought him or something, and he had some words for me, but I couldn't hear him over the music. Before I knew it, he was right up there on the stage with me singing and rocking his heart out. Guess you really can't judge a book by its cover. I have no clue what she's thinking going around looking all happy clappy like that when she's the head of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Always greets me cheerily too, saying, I like people who play with fire. They're good for business, or something like that. Eh, she's a bit bizarre, I tell you. Tell you a secret. But you gotta keep it that way, you hear? She's real fond of rock and roll. <laughs> Comes to watch me at least three times a week, no matter how packed her schedule is. You'd think that the head of the Huyu Tea House's troop would be into finer arts and all, huh? But I guess it gets suffocating after a while. <laughs> the first time Ga Ming told me I had a bad case of rock and roll fever, I checked my forehead to see if he was right. My temperature was fine, so I denied it, but he insisted it was true. We went back and forth arguing about it for hours before I realized it was all just a misunderstanding. Ga Ming explained it was just another way to say you're a fan of something. <laughs> oh, there's never a dull moment when Ga Ming is around. Anyway, I've definitely come around to rock and roll fever as an expression. I'll have to work it into the lyrics next time I write a song. You want to know more about me? <laughs> well, aren't you just odd? Most people would do just the opposite. Well, where should we start? Uh, I guess we'll start with rock and roll. Back when I was little, the adults all said I had to be more girly. That I should learn and study all these things. Wasn't ever any good at it, though. And I'd often get roasted bad. Rock and roll's a different story. No one ever taught me but I can do it just fine. And of course, the adults say, that's unladylike. Oh, talk about prejudice. Say, do you notice anything different about me today? I did some facial massages to relax my mouth and eyes and practiced smiling less broadly in front of a mirror for half an hour. So, how'd it go? Do I look a bit less fierce than usual? Even scarier. Okay. Thanks for staying to jam with me. It's almost time for lunch. I brought your share as well. We've got tomatoes, sausages, fried eggs, and... Say what? I, I don't seem like the type. Hey now, don't you look down on me. M making a nice looking meal was no problem at all. I believe in rock and roll spirit of resistance, but I don't think it means that I have to go around shoving it in people's faces. I'm perfectly capable of living normally. I can sew, I can grow flowers and keep fish and make nice looking meals. I'm allowed to like anything or anyone I want, right? <laughs> Hobbies? Rock and roll, of course! You ever have that something you put your all into? When everything you love comes together into one thing, the place and time loses all importance. You just need to enjoy it to the fullest and express yourself to your heart's content. Ah, <laughs> oh, I can never get enough of that feeling. Ah, I send children a crying every time I accidentally lock eyes with them on the road. Oh, if only there was a way to make me look a little less scary. But I've tried everything and nothing sticks. 
The lunch down at the Liwa dockyards rocks. Ugh, oily, meaty, oh, bit skimpy on the vegetables, but I could never get tired of it. Oh, far as I'm concerned, a whole day in the dockyards is worth it just for the lunch. Not that I'm picky, but I can't stand bland food. If it's supposed to be salty or spicy, make it salty or spicy. You can't have a good time if you don't go all in on the flavor. Even if all I had on hand were enough ingredients for one serving of jewelry soup, I'd make sure I'd do right by them. Wow-wee! You've rocked my socks off with this one. I'm moving to the groove of your awesome food. Mm -mm. The taste ain't bad, but it's lacking that special spark. Uh, I can help you with the presentation if you want. Mm, you don't mind if I add a little something to spice things up, do ya? Happy birthday! I made some embroidery especially for you. Check it out! I sewed both our images on in the style of Fontaine's dolls. It's pretty cute, huh? Why are you looking at me like that? It's not that weird that I can do embroidery. That's the groove, all right. That's what I'm talking about. I'm on fire lately. Look out for my next performance. With such power, who knows what never-before-seen bangers I'll be able to come up with. Thanks so much! My next work won't disappoint. I feel your awesome overflowing passion. Tell you what, I'll write you a rock song. It'll be your song, and I'll play it just for you. <laughs> 